Hi friends, it's Miss Jones. This is the second video about worms and how to take care of them. So this is the worm factory. I went to school over Easter weekend and picked it up. Um, some of you might recognize these because we used to have them right outside um, the front door. Sorry, this got a little muddy because it was sitting in my yard and then we had a big rain so all the dirt splashed up on it. So normally you put the worms in this bottom tray and then you put the food in the upper trays and then what they do is they eat their way up to the top but I had kind of a small bunch so I decided to put food right on the top to make it more accessible to the worms so that they could kind of eat their way through this bunch first and then as they multiplied I will put them the food in the upper trays so I wanted you guys to see this process so you can see we eat a lot of bananas at my house we also have asparagus in here that's left over from Easter and then there's some corn husks also um, so this food is super yummy for them not yummy for us and there's the worms underneath there eating their way through it um, so what do worms like to eat they like to eat basically leftover fruits and vegetables they like to eat gross stuff gross stuff well, it's very specific gross stuff. They like um, fruits and vegetables. They don't really like citrus. They don't like onions or What's spicy. Citrus? What's citrus? That's a good question. Citrus is anything that's orange, lemon, lime, sour stuff. Um, um, so they don't really like that stuff. They also don't like onions or spicy things. So any um, peppers, that kind of stuff doesn't work very well. You also don't want to put things with too many seeds in here because one of the things that I have discovered, just trial and error, is that when you put seeds in here, they will sprout. <laughs> so that's problematic. The other thing that I found a little bit problematic for me personally is mushrooms. Mushrooms get really stinky. Now this vermicast system, again, you know, I've said in previous videos, I live in Pearl City and Pearl City is much wetter than it is in Kapolei, which the good news about that is that the worms are doing well because it's not as hot. The bad news is you can see there's a lot of flies. Um, there's also a lot of fruit flies, much more so than school. So one of the some of the other things that you can put in here are tea bags you could put coffee grounds in here you can also put eggshells if you're gonna put eggshells though my advice is that you grind up the eggshells really really fine because they don't like to eat eggshells they can't they can't eat them if they're in really big chunks so really crush them down really fine okay so my trusty faithful assistant here is gonna help me We've been collecting things uh, just in an old tray. I think this was actually a mushroom tray from Sam's Club. Right now we've got a lot of banana peels because we eat tons of bananas and there's coffee grounds in there. So Parker's going to throw it in. Go ahead, Parker. And that's all we do. Those of you who have done this at school with me have helped me with this. You want to make sure that there's no stickers on your banana because they can't eat through the stickers. And I usually like to kind of... I found a sticker. <laughs> Where? All right, can you peel it off? Awesome, thank you. The worms, thank you. Cool, okay, we don't want that in there, good job. So now one of the things that we're going to do to help with the fly population and the fruit fly population was we're gonna add bedding to this. Now, if you look in here, you'll see I have torn up, this is actually just egg cartons, um, two egg cartons, and then I tear them up into about one inch pieces and then I throw them in with water so that they're nice and goopy. The good thing is it, it discourages um, flies. It also keeps the um, vermicast moist, which is good for the worms. And it uh, uh, the worms actually will eat this too. So it's a good food source if you run low on food. So like when I've been on uh, fall break and haven't been able to get to my worms easily. This is a good extra. It's it's not super healthy for them in terms of like it's not full of nutrients, but it's a good additive when they they start to run low on food. Okay, so we're gonna put this on the top. Okay, so we're gonna squeeze out some of this excess water because we don't want to drown them out. We're gonna put that on the top. So Parker, can you help me with that? Okay. okay. Now I'm gonna, when I'm off camera, I'm going to go ahead and get some more 
cardboard. I don't have access to a lot of paper at my house, but I do have cardboard. Um, and I'm going to put more cardboard, wet cardboard on the top of that. So that way there's a nice seal on there. And hopefully that will discourage some of the flies as well. So I hope you learn a little bit about the worms today. Um, sorry about all of the shaking camera. Garden looks good. I definitely miss all of you guys. Um, yeah, so I will see you later, navigators.